So trailer release, didn't it? Trailer for Joker. Joker Folly Adair. And I want your opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would very much like your opinion on whether you think this is going to be good or not. You know, do you think... Do you think uh, this sort of like to dislike ratio is wrong? Is there misplaced hatred? Do you think it looks good? What do you guys think? Uh, I'll ask for your opinions in the chat now. From my own opinion, I did a I did a video on it, did a reaction to it, and I haven't really sort of sat down to discuss it properly um, with you guys to sort of digest my thoughts. But we do have someone finally joining us. Okay, finally, it's Andre. So we're just looking at the Joker Folly Adieu trailer. Nice. Um, I'll, I'll get your... We're not going to watch it because it's copyright claimed, but let's get your opinion on it. Have you seen it or not? I, I have. I, I actually saw it within minutes of it uh, dropping. And uh, greetings, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Came as soon as I could, and I'm glad I was okay. able to make it this early. So you don't have to it's discuss okay. the trailer on, on your own. Yeah, uh, I did see the trailer. And I will say it was pretty much exactly as I expected it would be. Uh, because everyone was puzzled right away that the movie is a musical. And it puzzled mm. me too. But I was like thinking, okay, director Todd Phillips, he nailed it the first time. I think he has earned our trust that he knows what he's doing here. And this basically just confirmed that there's a method to the madness. I think mm. it was visually beautiful. Uh, it can't be good for Joaquin Phoenix help to to yo-yo as bad as much <laughs> as he does, like weight-wise. But he'd be like really packing on the pounds between yeah. Joker and Joker roles, and then losing it all, looking looking like Starvin Marvin for the Joker. And then and then back again, but no, I I like this. I'm really intrigued by this movie. This remains the movie I am looking forward to the most all of this year. So really, not, even, no, not even Nosferatu. That's my number Robert two. Eggers? That's my number two. Uh, okay, all right, that's my all number right, two. Right. The only reason why Nosferatu is number <laughs> two is because we already have. Two fantastic Nosferatu oh, yeah. movies, whereas yeah, this absolutely. one is going to be the third. And just for, just for mm. that, just for that, I'm going to deduct enough points since That's it's fair. the third iteration. That uh, that uh, this one by default gets in the number one position, but close number two is Eggers Nosferatu. But so yeah, this one, I honestly don't want to see any more trailers now. This basically mm. just confirmed that it is kind of what I thought it was going to be, that the musicals is going to play and how it, like, like it did. What surprised mm. me perhaps the most is that uh, Lady Gaga's character isn't someone who's, uh, who is uh, treating him, but she herself is already a, men a, men a mental patient. That is something of a, of a departure because in the canon to the extent of which there exists such a thing when it comes to Batman. Harley Quinn started out as the uh, the psychiatrist treating him and then he then then she got to see his worldview and that broke her mind and then she became Harley mm. Quinn. Whereas here she's obviously broken to begin with, which makes it easier uh, for for him to manipulate her in a sense, I guess that's the only way to do it because this guy is never going to be a criminal mastermind the way that the Joker is. That's just not going to happen. That's not in the future for this character. But this no. way, he gets his uh, his Harley Quinn, and we can get another really compelling story with some uh, with some social commentary that's that'll be visually pleasing in the process, like just this imagery. Of mm. of him uh, placing his f face behind that glass frame with the with a lipstick smile on it and just like mimicking that just that that right there that yeah. right there I mean that just sells the movie right there doesn't it so yeah I'm excited I'm looking forward to it I've seen everything I need to see and uh, it remains my most anticipated uh, movie of the year. And that is not always the case. Whenever I see a trailer for a movie, I look forward to. Sometimes nothing will kill uh, the bus for a movie quite like a trailer can. But not in this case. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. So what um, about you? 
Well, listen, I mean, it, it's... I've not been hard on this anyway um, from the moment it was announced. I mean, this, the cinematography is just, from a technical perspective, this is a masterclass. This shot alone, beautiful. They've kept the same color grading, exactly the same. There's the same blue green hue that they used. It's a very particular type of color palette that they were using for the original. They've done very, very well to keep to all of that. And, you know, it's interesting that you say, well, you know, they're changing the canon. And yeah, they might be, but they also might not be. Well, they already we did. Don't, when, what I mean is, you, they're changing the canon with Harley, but we don't know because even in this trailer alone, there's substantial amounts of things which are in his head, but not in his head. Uh, there's things which are happening in life and which are not actually happening. And things well, this which is true. It's an unreliable narrative. Exactly. So I, I, I will, I will say, I think they have changed the canon, but we don't know that yet. Um, I, I think it's brilliant. I, I think it's absolutely great. Um, I, I I just think it looks really, really good. I like there's certain shots which I think are just beautiful, staggering. Uh, again, it's a technical uh, masterpiece. So like I, I really enjoyed this shot because you can see the top of the umbrellas here, uh, no color, and then here color. So I like it. I like I like that sort of. Yeah, me too. Uh, the, Vis the, it's a visual feast, and it better be at this price tag. Because that's yeah, my well, yeah, that's one bigger worry here is that this. But you movie... say that, you say that, and it is a big price tag. One day, fifteen million views. Hopefully, it'll In work out for them, and it's number two on day. trending. And this is another R-rated movie, so I think that this one is going to be big. But is it going to be mm. another billion-dollar movie? Honestly, I hope so. I hope I that this might. too is going to break the billion. On paper, it's going to have an easier job of doing that uh, than the first one did because of inflation mm. and ticket price. It's actually going to take fewer people to go to the cinema than saw the first one to bring it to a uh, to a billion. Mm. But, I just uh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm. Uh... This is one of those films that you know. I liked the first one. I I wasn't. I love that shot there. Sorry, I didn't. But I just like just don't move it. But that's an amazing shot right there. Yeah, I saw the behind the scenes. So there's there was some set leak videos of this actually happening, um, and it was I, I I did wonder how they were gonna sort of pan it out um, in the movie. Uh, it's a great shot. It's, it's really, really good. Again, it just goes to the whole thing of like what's actually happening, what's not happening. And this yeah, is a teaser trailer. Head, Obviously, we've yeah. got we've got a full trailer on the way at some point, uh, which will reveal a little bit more, uh, which will be probably a bit of a shame. I think a movie like this doesn't really need. Uh, you a know, full I trailer. think I'm going to sit out the full trailer because mm. for most movies, just doing what we do, I know too much. And I always have yeah, like, I much of a bias. But I think that in this case, I'm going to be like, you know what? Everyone has faith in this movie. We haven't heard mm. any kind of haunted story. There's no major revelation or anything like that here. So I think I'm going to enjoy this teaser for what it is. And then I'm going to stop. <clears throat> I'm not going to see yeah. when the next trailer comes out, TV spots come out. I'm just going to sit them out. And I'm going to be yep. counting days for this to be released. I'm going to be there in the very first screening possible. And it's an IMAX, you say, right there. When is it coming out? Well, this is what I'm quite surprised with. They've started the marketing really early. This is coming out in October. This is the kind of movie... You know, this is the kind of movie... I'd come to London to see this in a proper IMAX screen rather mm. than than in the smallest screen in all of the Canary Islands, because that's where they happen to have the one with the English yeah, audio and the Spanish subs, a, as a opposed to the screen. Spanish dub. Yeah, don't don't watch this on a small screen. Yeah, no, exactly. Mm. I mean, I had to do that with Dune, which was annoying, but uh, mm. but the ending ruined that movie for me anyway. So, like, in retrospect, uh, I would have been bummed out if I had traveled somewhere just to see it on the bigger screen i still haven't yeah. seen godzilla year one please come out on the uh, on streaming soon here but this and, one uh, this one is freaking worth seeing so one square. thing i do want to say one thing i do want to say um is that I, I i'd never been hard on this because of the musical aspect which a lot of people have been but i think if you were to go back and watch this is to anyone that automatically says no because it's a 
quote unquote musical. Go back and watch the first movie, and I think you'll be very surprised how much music is in that film as a specific character. Yeah. Um, music plays a very large role in the first film. Uh, obviously, this is much more than that. You know, I'm not disputing that. But to say this is, you know, to discount it quite, you know, offhand as a quote unquote musical, etc. I think, you know, I, I think you'd be doing yourself a disservice. Uh, and as you said as well, uh, Todd Phillips is someone that has earned the benefit of the doubt at this point in time. Uh, and there's not many directors that have that right now. Todd Phillips has earned the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Uh, I believe also, anyway. I think that the term musical may be a misnomer. But they say it's a jukebox I musical. I don't think that this is going to be much more of a musical than Guardians of the Galaxy Part 1 was a musical. There's where you have all of the that. background tracks are, are characters in the movie. They're talked mm. about. They're, they are referencing specific scenes towards the end there. You even have Star-Lord singing uh, one of the songs. I think that's probably something similar that we have here. They kind of like alerted that we're going to do some singing here for therapy. So you can basically find the most popular of hit songs with suitable thematic themes. Look here. That, that's the, There you have like, uh, that's Billie Jean right there. You saw that? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that yeah. right there. That's Billie Jean, at least for, from the looks of it. And with some dream sequence and stuff, you can have like some really cool musical numbers, but it's going to be kind of like the intro to Guns of the Galaxy Part 2, right? It's, I think it's going to be like that, only with the capacity singing. But it's not going to mm. be... I don't think it's going to be a musical where like everything is sung. I think it's going to be a very traditional movie with 10, 15 instances of now they're yeah. going to start to some weird-ass singing because... This is a freaking unreliable narrator, and we'll be seeing mm. his from his point of view, and maybe even from her point of view. Maybe that's like the double entendre here that we think yeah. we're seeing from his point of view, but in reality, we saw everything from her point of view the whole time, I mean, it's including what she Follied, thinks uh, he sees the world as. Yeah, well, it is. Yeah, it's called Matt. Well, followed uh, madness for tea. Yeah. Um, Green Tooth has super chat at six dollars twenty eight and says, "Hope that new Joker movie will be great." Thanks, Nate, and panelists. Just one. We've only got one panelist today. <laughs> oh, well, more, we'll more the panel or the two of us? May I don't know. It's probably just us, to be fair. I've sent them out. Okay, yeah, that's cool. You know what? Well. Remember, we we used to stream every single Monday. Good old days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we just like old types. Yeah. Um, 